You know, normally, this is when you see Mitch Ryder ranting and raving and screaming, face red. But you know, I've got something very serious to talk about today, something very near and dear to my heart. You see, let me tell you a story, people. A couple years ago, Mitch Ryder was down wrestling in Mexico, saddled up to the bar, knocking back some Coronas, as I often do. And I got a conversation with a fella that was a plantain farmer down there in Juarez, and he said, I understand that you're a luchador professional wrestler. I said, yeah, that's exactly right. He said, well, on my plantain farm, I've got a boy, and this boy is an unbelievable athlete. He can do all this stuff and flips and rolls and high-flying things, and I think that he can be a great luchador. He can be a great wrestler someday. He said, would you please come take a look at him? Wasn't doing anything else. He'd already bought me a couple Coronas. Why not? So I go out to the plantain farm and I take a look at this boy. Sure enough, he's everything his father said he was. An incredible athlete, unbelievable balance, unbelievable timing. He said, can you help him? I said, well, sir, the only thing I can do is ask that you go through the government and you do it legal and you get the guy a work visa and you bring him over and then, maybe then, I can help you, but you see, I'm a patriot. Mitch Ryder is a good old Memphis, Tennessee American. And I'm not gonna let nobody come in this country illegally. But you see, like most of the foreigners, he didn't believe in doing the right thing. He wanted to get his boy on a wrestling card so bad that he was willing to break any laws necessary to do it. All of a sudden, here I am in Shakara, and I see this masked wrestler that goes by the name of Lindsay Dorado, and the bulb goes off. And suddenly I realize that Lindsay Dorado is the very same plantain farmer from down in Juarez, Mexico that I seen a couple years before. Now, good people of America, Shakara fans, wrestling fans throughout the world, I'm here to plead to you. Don't you jump on this guy's bandwagon. He is an illegal alien. He is an immigrant that has entered into this country and taken jobs away from good old fashioned Americans like me and you, taxpaying citizens. Well, I vow to you, and I vow to you, Lindsay Dorado, I will do whatever it takes by any means necessary to get you back to Juarez, Mexico. Back to the banana farm where you came from. You have chosen the wrong one. I stand for what's right. Whether you people believe it or not, I could be the only true patriot left. Toronto, I'm gonna beat you, I'm gonna humiliate you, and I'm gonna send you back to Mexico where you belong.